Good afternoon. Today we're going to be talking about the brass family, what makes them all similar to each other, how they all differ, and get to hear a short musical excerpt from each one of them. So the first question we're going to talk about is which instruments are in the brass family? We have the trumpet, the French horn, the trombone, the euphonium, and the tuba. In the image to the right, you'll notice the trumpet is the upper left-hand corner, the French horn to the far left, the trombone at the bottom of the image, the euphonium right in the middle, and then the tuba is the largest instrument to the right. All the brass instruments are made out of metal. They all use a mouthpiece and buzz to create the sound. Most of them have a type of valve to change pitch, such as a piston valve or a rotary valve, except for the trombone who uses a slide. The first instrument we're going to talk about today is the trumpet. The trumpet is the smallest of the brass family and has usually three piston valves. Those move straight up and down and change how the air flows through the instrument. The trumpet has a cylindrical bore, which means it stays the same size tubing throughout, only flaring out at the end to help with sound projection. The trumpet has a high range and is generally used as a solo or melodic instrument. The music example we'll hear today is from pictures at an exhibition. The next instrument we're going to talk about today is the French horn. The French horn features the longest tubing of all the brass instruments and uses three rotary valves to change pitch. Rotary valves function by turning a valve instead of pushing it down like a piston valve, but it also redirects air through different amounts of tubing to get different sounds. The French horn features a conical bore, which means it starts at smallest point near the mouthpiece and gradually widens throughout the instrument. The French horn has a mid to high range. And the music example we're going to hear today is Nocturno Number no. 7 by Strauss. The next instrument in the brass family that we're going to talk about today is the trombone. The trombone is a unique instrument in this family because it doesn't have any valves like the others, but actually uses a slide to change pitch. Like the trumpet, the trombone has a cylindrical bore, meaning that it has straight piping all the way out until you start flaring for the bell. The trombone has a mid to high range, and the music example we're going to hear today is from the Carnival of Venice. The next instrument we're going to talk about is the euphonium. The euphonium looks like a smaller sized tuba, uses three or four piston valves to change pitch, and features a mid to low range. The music example we're going to hear today is Beautiful Colorado. The final instrument in the brass family that we're going to talk about today is the tuba. The tuba is the largest brass instrument and also features the largest mouthpiece. The tuba can have three or four valves and either be piston or rotary depending on the manufacturer. The tuba has the lowest range of all the brass instruments and the music example we're going to hear today is the Concerto for Tuba and Orchestra by John Williams.
with that, we will conclude our presentation on the brass family. Thanks for watching.